Hey everybody, it's Fifth from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Alright, I'm I'm like a week behind on readings and I apologize for that. It's been a weird week. We're not gonna get into that though. Um, pardon the cluster cuss. It's still, you know, moving furniture, moving things around, reorganizing things, deciding what's staying and what's leaving, you know. I call it fall cleaning because you know, that's really the only time I have to do anything. Um, what else? Cuss baby readings. Still knocking those out. This one will be for Gemini Cancer. So if your birthday lies on the Gemini Cancer cusp, this reading may be for you. If it's going to resonate, it's going to resonate with your sun sign. It's really not a moon rising or Venus. So if you take a message out of it, cool. If not, leave the cards on the table and walk away. If you're new here, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. You think we're going to vibe and stuff, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. Hit the like button while you're down there if you wouldn't mind. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back by. It all helps the channel and it all helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the message. So, it is all very much appreciated. Time and energy are both fluid. So these months can play out. These events could have played out in the month of November. They could still play out in the month of December. They could have already played out, and they could play out sometime farther into the future. Again, time is fluid. It's a man-made construct anyway, so some people would argue that it's not even real. Can be vice versa, too, and if you're a cross-watcher up in here, you are going the extra mile to try to figure out your person. I gotta give you props for that, because if you're dealing with somebody who's a cuss baby, you're dealing with some interesting mishmashes of energies, so. Okay. Two things, if it is, oh, they tried to pop out. We'll address those. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And again, if it is not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. We're going to address these real quick. And we're going to shuffle and invoke the cards. Hmm, what came out? Three of Pentacles, Hierophant, Lovers, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Mm, divine connection, hair fit next to a lover's. Right on. Might be a Taurus or a Gemini you're dealing with. Okay. Coming together. This might be for somebody. A new start to get lead to bliss and abundance. There may be a choice to be made for some of you. Let's see if these come out. Let's see if some of these come out. All right. One. Two. Three. And four. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my Gemini, Cancer, Cusp, Collective, and those who have come to view this reading seeking answers. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I have been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring all viewers and querents to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right. Set some of these aside. Clear a little room on the table. I'm thinking about just making this my corner again. For those of you who have been around since the beginning, this was the corner that I actually had my table in originally. So, but, you know, time happens, things happen. Furniture to get shuffled around. Okay. Enough about that. Three of Cups reversed, Two of Swords. Oh, there's a disconnect. Possibly a parting of a third party situation for some of you. The challenge is making a decision with clarity. Okay. Six of 
Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Strength Reversed. Could be a Leo. Just connecting from uh, Eight of Wands. A Sagittarius, Six of Pentacles. That's Taurus. Two of Wands is Libra. Three of Cups, Three of Cups. Sorry, I'm counting. Hold on. Cancer. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting mix so far. Why is it happening? A lot of energy on the board. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Knave of Wands. A lot of damn fire on this board right now, guys. the outcome. It's the outcome. Make a break. Oof. That's a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? That's a hard pill to swallow. It's the bottom of the deck. It reversed. Some of you may be like completely self-isolating and locking everything out right now. This is like the energy of binge watching Netflix, eating Cheetos, not leaving the house, not talking to anybody, phones on silent. This is a dark place. This is a dark place. Oh, shoot. All right. Oh, okay, let's shed some light. I'm all about light. Okay. Universe Source Spirit Guides, can I get clarity? For the Gemini Cancer Cuspers. first why it happened or what's going to happen let's address what's going to happen why is the six of pentacles here why the six of pentacles and that's generosity that's that's equal reciprocity that's balance four of cups reversed into the five of cups reversed Yeah, your phone's on silent. Straight up ignoring it. Oh, shoot. Why are the eight of wands? Hmm. Nine of coins reversed, ten of coins reversed. First and the Nine of Cups reversed. Ten of 
ten of cups to the ace of cups full to the magician. This is an offer. This is a message. This is a message. Disconnect. Clarity. Damn. Before I speak, one of the two of swords. Page of coins, knight of coins. making a decision with clarity to slow down. Page of coins sometimes brings an apology. There has been a disconnect and somebody's trying to apologize and make you an offer. You're straight up ignoring it. Knight of Wands into the Queen of Wands. Somebody's been in and out. You're ignoring it because somebody has been in and out. Maybe it was sex-based. I don't know, but... <coughs> Messages of codependency. Page of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Not accepting or giving. My cup's off limits. I'm hearing my cup's off limits. Somebody's trying to talk. Somebody's off to a new start to manifest new things. Because the cup's done been spilt. There's no happiness. Damn. I see a huge swallowing of pride over here. Talk to me about this strength reversed. Talk to me about this strength reversed. King of Wands to the Page of Wands. Oh, wow. Knave of Wands. Not holding back, knowing what they want, going after it and getting it. Somebody ain't gonna quit. Five of Swords reversed to the Six of Somebody is returning and swallowing their pride. Somebody knows they fucked up. Oh, wow. Woo. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Now I gotta know why it happened. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I'm digging the glider rocker, guys. I can sit. I can shuffle. I can rock. I can think. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ten of Swords. Oh. Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords. Oh. Somebody got a shiny new offer. And a painful cycle came to an end. There may have been some like serious backstabbing and shit involved. One more.
Three of Cups reversed to the Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, that's when it happened. The disconnect and the ignoring. That's a giant up yours if I've ever seen one. All right, Nine of Wands thrown in the towel. Give me one of those Nine of Wands. One of the Nine of Wands. Give me one of the Nine of Wands. Sun into judgment. Throwing in the towel, make it a final judgment call so the sun can shine again. But with that judgment, can sometimes come. The resurrection or the attempt thereof. Talk to me about this Knave of Wands. Eight of Wands to the Nine of Wands. Hey, you want to give this one last go? Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Somebody trying to come back. Why? Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Seven wands reversed to the eight of wands reversed. That didn't go so well, did it? That new star didn't go so well. Didn't have the forward movement that they'd hoped for. Somebody may have gone off to try something new and got caught off at the damn knees. Movement stop to one more. Justice reversed, hangman reversed, realized what they did was unfair. Maybe karma's kicking him in the teeth. Ah, well, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes people have to go off and learn a lesson before they can come back. But they're still a little bit hung up on you. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. We're going to keep going. Three of swords into the four of swords. Keep going. All right. Outcome is the return. The six of swords. It gave me a card, but it went flying. So give me a second. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Oh, that's reversed. Do I want this? The painful cycle ended. Do I want this new start? There's confusion. Eight of Cups into the Nine of Cups, or do I want to go off and find my cups? What are you going to do with this return? you got a choice to make. All right, this Six of Wands to me is a swallowing of pride, a huge swallowing of pride. Uh, by the looks of things, they've, they've had a huge lump to swallow. So talk to me about this Six of Wands reversed for the make or break in this situation for to whoever this is for.
Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, the high priestess and the empress. That's the coming together of two soulmates for growth. That's potential. It can also be lies and deception, but... Secrets, the unknown. Is this going to grow or isn't it? And the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands, one last go. The release of the burden. One step for the start over. One more. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, reversed was at the bottom of the deck. The release of anxiety. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. The beginning, the new start. The coming back together after the disconnect. The make or break is do you want to do this again? Does this hold the potential to grow? Do you want to give this one last go and release the burden and start over? Do you want to let bygones be bygones? You're in a dark place right now. There's a lot of confusion. It's not very well lit. You're isolating yourself from the situation. You're ignoring them. Or you've been ignoring them. Or they've been ignoring you. All things can be vice versa here. Page of Swords reversed, Knight of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes if he's talking at all, he tells you things you don't want to hear. If this conversation happens, it could be painful. Or dishonest. See how it goes. Can I get a crystal power on this, please? Can I get a crystal power for my Gemini Cancer Cuss babies? Eight of Pentacles. I did get, dedicate myself to what I believe in. Putting in the work. What do you want out of life? What do you want out of this connection? Do you want it to end or do you want it to go again? Are you willing to invest the time, the effort, and the energy? Now that's an even number, so you have to ask yourself, are they going to invest time and effort and energy? They say they're going to. Queen of Swords, I protect what matters to me. Protect yourself. The little page of swords is reversed. You need to decide if you're going to use the sword. Demand and command honesty. Demand and command the truth. You want to give this one last go? It's got to be a clean slate, guys. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. I am worthy of my deepest kind of love. I'm worthy of the deepest kind of love. That's what you are worthy of. You gotta ask yourself how deep this is. A connection can be deep. That don't mean there's love involved. Deep connections can sometimes be toxic. Okay. Can I get a wisdom oracle? Then we're gonna call it a read. A wisdom oracle? Then we're gonna call it a read. A wisdom oracle for my Cancer Gemini cusp. It's Gemini Cancer Cuss Babies. Go the distance. And happy, happy. Oh. Queen of Cups was underneath the Hermit. And the Knight of Swords. And the Three of Wands. Why did I have to do that? Because now I have to look. Knight of Pentacles. Waiting. In and out energy. Deep love. Maybe there is deep love involved here. We'll see. We'll see. Number 47. 
4 plus 7 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. Two is the number of choices and decisions. Forty-seven. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there's no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself, your authenticity along with along mm, your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Happy happy Number 26, 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 is the number of infinity. Round and round the merry-go-round we go. Number 26. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Taurus Gemini got that one too. Hmm. Maybe that one was Gemini specific. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing down cards, guys. All right. Wow, this was like almost a half hour. Thanks for coming down. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Have one hell of a what's left of your November. Have one hell of a December. I'll catch you guys in a few weeks for your next Cusp Baby reading. Much love and light. Be blessed, y'all.